I, I think that only liberals have such contempt for Arabs that they believe that you can buy an Arab's national pride by raising his living standards. Not by bread alone does a, an Arab live. Because I respect the Arab, I want to throw him out. Mehron Benvenisti is former deputy mayor of Jerusalem, a highly regarded expert on Arab affairs. He says Kahana has touched on what has always been a raw nerve in Israel, how a Jewish Zionist state can make all the people who live there feel like full-fledged citizens. I agree that the problem is that Israel can be either democratic or Jewish. It cannot be both. And this is what Kahana is saying also. But what Kahana says is that I'll be undemocratic and racist. I'll just throw the Arabs out. For me, this is unthinkable because my Zionist ethos, my Jewish conscience, dictates that Israel can, must find a way to reconcile the two values. Yeah, but you've been trying to reconcile the two values here since 1948. Right. And you haven't reconciled them. Things are not getting better, they're getting worse. Well, I, I don't want to give it up. Well, I understand you don't yeah, want to give yeah. it up. And then the long run, it will. It will. So, look, the whole notion of taking Arabs, putting them in trucks and moving them is preposterous. It is based on the fact that we can control the Arabs. There are two million Arabs here, and they say now that this time they will not leave like in 48. They will fight, and you have to kill them. And I don't believe that any Israeli is ready to do that. This is all nonsense. It is all just hot air.